Hello? Ready to go to the beach? Let's go. <laughs> oh yes. In this episode of our Mauritius road trip, we are starting the day at the beach, but we'll also be exploring so much more. From Mauritian food, a local market and a volcano park, to a beautiful sunset. Just a perfect day exploring Mauritius. This is a 10 out of 10 hot. On the hotness scale, yeah, today it's very toasty. You'll see it on our faces. But let's go to the beach. We've been in Flick en Flak for a couple of days now. We've checked out a few parts of the very long beach here. And we've got one spot that we really like. So that's where we're going right now. For, we've got something special planned for lunch. We hope at least. So here we are. The sky is really clear today. Yeah. We haven't seen it without clouds like this. <laughs> but we have been quite lucky with the weather. No rain yeah. really. Well, it sometimes starts to rain for only two minutes and then it's gone. So that's cool. And right at the start of this beach, we've got a nice and beautiful foresty kind of vibe. <laughs> Yeah, what that's are the... often the case with the beaches here. I think the, the trees are called filaus. And yep. it's like a typical thing, I think, for Mauritius. They are the better palm trees, I think. Yeah, they're the local palm trees. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think palm trees are actually <laughs> local as well. But... The real local ones. Mm. We've spent a few sunsets here now. And this is the ideal spot. Because the sun goes down right there. So to give you an overview, the beach at Flick en Flak is very long. Up here basically it's all public beach and goes further on into the center of Flick en Flak. And then right about here, then you've got quite a few resorts that are placed side by side. And you can walk along those beach parts, but you can't really stay there unless you're a guest. So normally we would pack out our sun tents and build it up here. But at this beach, it's quite practical that we have shade from these filao trees. So we don't need it right now. Downside is that as the sun goes down, little animals start falling down from the tree onto us. Um, but I think it's worth it. Worth it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Because we spent a couple of days at the beach now, um, our plan for today was to drive further inland to see what that's like because I think it's quite tempting to just stay very close to the ocean and the coastline and I don't know we are curious so I'm now gonna quickly pop into the local supermarket to get some snacks a nice pre-lunch snack, probably an ice cream, um, because there's one ice cream we discovered here in Mauritius, which is actually from Mauritius, that is so good. Very good beer selection here too, which is nice for getting a drink for sunset. This is the local Mauritian craft beer and this is another Mauritian craft beer and they're both very good. And this is the, I think, local beer from a bigger producer. Also very good. Quick, 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 quick. I hope it hasn't melted completely. My ice cream. <laughs> so this is Kulfi Malai. I don't know if it's actually Mauritian. Oh yeah, traditional Mauritian ice cream. Yeah. I think it is. And it's really delicious. It's like a yogurt base and then there's lots of what tastes like honey and nuts in it. I don't know if it's actually honey. There are loads of almonds in here. It's quite sweet, but very good. Kulfi is so good because it's yeah it's very creamy. It's more like eating frozen cream cheese. Oh yeah, I mean it has full cream milk powder in it. 
um, but also some cardamom, which I can also taste. Yeah. It's very really nice. I think kulfi is, uh, we know kulfi from India, mm -hmm. right? So. Yeah, you can see the in Indian influence here. We've been eating these on a daily basis. <laughs> I so. don't think it's good for your health, actually. <laughs> no, we can't recommend it. So this place is called the Creole Shack. We found it on Google Maps. It's got very good reviews and we were very excited to visit because this is basically a family home and they cook Creole food. So Creole food is a mix or a fusion of European and African food. And especially here on Mauritius, it has quite a sad history because there was just a mass displacement of people. Mauritius used to be a French and a British colony and from each of those colonists slaves were brought into the country from different parts of Africa and over time they formed their own culture which is now a mix between European and African culture and then when slavery was abolished in 1835 by the British they still needed a lot of workers and they got these workers from India so that's when a lot of Indian people came here that's why there's also a lot of Indian and Asian influences here and everything's just one melting pot which is in the result quite cool even though it has quite a sad story. Thanks for the history lesson. No problem, I hope it was correct. <laughs> <laughs> There's a changing three course menu every day and to start with we've got these remind me what are they called again? Gâteau Fimon. I don't think they're that spicy but let's find out. That's nice. Very crunchy, really nice bite-sized snack. Got lots of spices in there as well, like fennel. You can see and taste a lot of fennel. It's not very spicy, but you can find some spicy versions all over the island, I think. So we'll definitely have to give more of them a go. I'm really looking forward to the main courses because this is nice. <laughs> So as you can see, the presentation is beautiful. It reminds me a lot of Indian tali. We got one portion of prawn rugai and one portion of chicken bindai. And they're both very tasty. It's really nice to just mix everything together on your fork or spoon. And you have this great combination of spices and flavors. We've got a lot of ginger, a little bit of something citrusy, it almost tastes like kefir lime leaves and I think it's from the Rugai and then this fruity tomato sauce, it's just a really really nice combination. The chicken vinda is made with turmeric and mustard seeds and it goes really well with the chutneys that we get on the side. There are three different chutneys, a potato chutney and a coconut kind of chutney and then also a radish chutney. The potato chutney actually has some dried fish inside that gives it a really nice smoky flavor. You can really see that it's all made with lots of love and carefully presented and the setting is nice so we are very happy and we got some coconut ice cream for dessert it's really good so we're in quatre bon now quatre bon yes and traffic is getting worse we feel like this is where a lot of people actually live. For example, also a lot of students that visit the university near Flick en Flack, the Middlesex University. Um, but yeah, there are also a lot of IT companies here. The government wants to establish an IT business hub. Um, just what like do they call it? Like a cyber, cyber city, city or something? Yeah. Cyber meter links are being kind of want to promote it to be the next Silicon Valley. In Quatreborn there's this market. It's not a very touristy market we've read, but a local market. The market has kind of mixed reviews. Some of them are from locals, some of them from tourists. Oh wait, this is a uh, this is the one-way street. Oh. oh, Google is um sending us the wrong way. That's new. I think we found a parking spot. We're just gonna stay here now. And if they 
want to put us in jail, then they, they have to Then we'll have us. good content. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 24 hours in a Mauritian jail. We drove around the market a couple of times, but I am positive that this is a legit parking spot. I think it's fine. Busy. So how are they in the comparison to the ones we had a few hours ago? They're actually very similar. Yeah. Just a little bit cheaper, I must say, because here they cost five rupees per chili bite. They aren't very spicy though, In are general, they? they aren't very spicy. They do taste a bit like a falafel with a twist, but they're really crispy. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. So we just bought an Aluda. Um, I'll be trying it for the first time and it's like the Mauritian vanilla milkshake. Tastes like vanilla milkshake, except for the fact that you have some agar jelly in it, which is, well, it's, it has a jelly consistency. Um, and then you've also got some basil seeds in here, which are quite similar to kaya seeds, I think. They also taste very similar. I think it's just whole milk with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Nice and refreshing, maybe? Yes, but also quite heavy. <laughs> I don't know. You, you, you'll you'll help, have to you, yeah. help me finish it. Back in the car we go. Well, the market is interesting. It's a lot of clothes and... It's basically clothes. Yeah, that's it. We knew that before and it is interesting to look at because it is very local. We feel like... Um, yeah, we didn't see any tourists. Yeah, it is for locals, which is nice for a change. We tried some uh, new things, which for us is always nice. Otherwise, I don't know if we would come here specifically for the market. It basically looks like a market in every bigger city in the world i would say <laughs> like they probably also have the same products to it's, be honest yeah, it's a bazaar if you need new t-shirts this is the place <laughs> to go <laughs> i think it was worth it for the experience but only because we like this kind of stuff Surf. We just parked here and uh, it's windy. It's very windy. And it feels like it might start raining quite soon. But you've got a nice view over the island. Yeah. It's, a, it's a kind of viewpoint here as well. And also a park where lots of people are just jogging. Jogging, very popular. Yeah. Not, not for us though. But... And you said we can see a volcano here. Yes, right? yes, the volcano. Definitely. I'm excited. Well, there it is. It doesn't look like a volcano at It all. used to be a volcano and we are standing on its crater. Okay. 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 It used to be, it used to be very fine. impressive. I mean, <laughs> looks, <laughs> looks interesting. <laughs> okay, wow. It's like a little lake in the middle of... A crater? It's like a lake in a little mini valley. Okay. Isn't that impressive? It is impressive. Okay. Do you want to jog around this whole crater or no, what do you want to right do? No, not right now, but it is a really cool place to jog yeah. in general. Because the views from here are quite cool. It's like I have a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we brought our umbrella. Because it might start to rain real soon. Yeah. And with that, reporter Zoe over and out. Back to the studio. Okay.
little jog around the park. <laughs> was it like 20? 20, 25, I'm not 20 sure. 20 laps. Like something. Yeah. yeah. But it was really nice to come actually to this volcano. Yes. To yourself. And also to come just to drive inland because you just, I mean, normally as a tourist, you only see the coast and you think this is Mauritius, but probably most of the people don't live close to the coast. Not well, maybe they do because of Port Louis, but still. <laughs> yeah, um, apart from a, Port a Louis. A portion of people live somewhere here in the central area, so you just get a better feeling for the country. Now I think it's time to go home. Um, maybe if the traffic isn't uh, gonna stop us, we can even see another sunset from our beach. And if the clouds aren't gonna stop us. <laughs> yes, because from here it looks very grey. Back where we started this morning at our favorite sunset spot. Just in time for sunset. I don't know how this is even possible, but the sky is super clear. There are no clouds anywhere <laughs> yeah, to be seen. It's the complete opposite of where we just were, up on top of that volcano. And it's like a completely different world here. Yeah. I feel like since we're here on Mauritius, we have a fixed date to see the sunset, especially now we're on the west coast and you can see a really nice sunset from everywhere on the west coast. And We're gonna miss it. Yeah, we're gonna miss it once we're in the north. Or back home, or I mean. Back home especially, yeah, yes. Yeah, because back home there isn't any sun at all. No. <laughs> Usually we don't take sunsets that seriously when we're traveling, but here it's just... You shouldn't yeah, miss it. It's just so easy. Yeah. And so now we're just gonna enjoy that. Have dinner afterwards and then go to bed. But I think it was a great day. And I think we're ending this video here. So we'll see you in the next one.